know when it comes to Kentucky is they have a definite game-changing weapon at the punter position. Uh, I don't just say that to be flattering or over the top. I really think he's one of the best weapons in all of college football. He's, he is a professional at what he does. I mean, it's just incredible. I guess I grew up, my first sport I played was soccer and basketball. I really loved basketball and made a lot of representative teams and really I thought that was going to be my career path. I wanted to be LeBron James or Steve Nash. And then at about 13 or 14, I uh, took up football, Australian rules football, and played that and probably was a little bit better at that than basketball. Here is my man Duffy. Who is he? Max Duffy. Unbelievable tonight. A scoring machine. Now, your mum still doesn't know that you've played your debut, doesn't she? Yeah, she's got no idea still. So, mum, if you see this before I talk to you, um, I've played. Um, I was a sub and I came on and kicked a few goals, but we lost by two points. So, if you're out there and you see this before I talk to you, I have played a game of AFL. I always wanted to keep going with sport and I never really thought that was going to be the end. Uh, I was pretty upset when I got delisted, but at the same time I thought, well, I'll either work really hard and get back on the list, or I'll try something else. I guess as a young kid, I started learning a bit more about the NFL, and I always thought it would be interesting to see what college life was like and what the NFL or the NBA would be like. Um, so I came over here on a trip uh, with some of my friends and dreams, I guess, changed, and I wanted to come over here and give it a shot. This feels like Christmas because it's signing day for college football. So actually, this kid committed last night because it was yesterday. <laughs> did you recruit back? No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I, I would have loved to take that trip though to go to Australia, but no, I didn't. Um, when I play footy, I like kicking what they call a banana. So look it up and see if you like it. Uh, I've been here for about two years now, and uh, uh, for me personally, it's really fun. Uh, I definitely enjoy it a lot more than getting hit like I used to in the old football uh, all the time. And, really enjoy the time off that we get. I think it helps me have a balance from sport and just general life. So um, I really enjoy that aspect. Obviously there's a time to be serious and make sure that we do our job, but there's definitely a lot of downtime. And I think it makes the specialists really close together. Uh, I know probably some of the guys on the team think we're pretty weird uh, with the stuff that we get into, but I think we have so much spare time, we start some pretty weird conversations sometimes. I mean, you can even tell really. Stoops 100% gets his white. Oh yeah, no. You gotta, you gotta get it for the camera. 100%. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. They're so bad. They like sit there and analyze you guys playing, and they're like, "See, what do they do?" This is for Steve Irwin, Bindi Irwin, the whole Irwin family, really, and Keith Urban. How about Margot Robbie? Oh, get in. Oh, get in. Oh. Sorry, Australia. Uh, some people say like you're still 26 and at college, but I see it the other way. And it's like, well, it's better than having a job. So I'm a little bit immature myself at times. I probably have to be hanging around some of the guys. So it uh, definitely brings out the 18 year old in me again. Coach Soup tells me whenever I want to go for it, I can go Duffy for it. Comes up with the snap. He's going to have to hurry. Now he's going to run up the near side and get the first down. 30, 40, 45, step run! out of bounds. Run! Run! Yes! Oh! Yes! Uh, I'd hate to see what he says if it's not open and I go for it. That could be an interesting conversation. I might have to go for one eventually, but uh, a bit scared of how much they're going to hurt me if I don't quite get it. So that's why I run out of bounds on the weekend. In the AFL back home, if you're going to kick a goal and you really want to celebrate, you kind of show them the ball a little bit before you kick it through and just say, this isn't yours, it's mine, and then kick it through. I was going to do that. And then I thought, Max, if you let go of the ball and you put it out there, you're probably never going to play again. So kept it under my arm, ran off, and then threw it at the ground after that. So I was pretty pumped up. But uh, I might have to do a little kangaroo hop or something like that just to pay tribute to the people back on. Over to the far side, away from Swain. It hits at the 25, rolls right down the sidelines, inside the 10, and all the way to the three. Max was named the SEC Special Teams Player of the Week. No surprise there for the second time this season. And the Ray Guy Punter of the Week as well. He still leads the nation in net punning. I really enjoy what I'm doing, um, and I really want to do well for my friends and family. It means a lot that I'm doing well and hopefully paying back uh, what they've done for me and making sure that they're proud. I miss home, but I'm doing what I want to do and I'm doing, doing things for them as well. I feel like I'm going places that I really need to be. I'm getting my degree. I'm not just coming over here and playing sport. I'm getting my degree as well and furthering myself with what I want to do in the future. So it sits pretty comfortably with me. 
Uh, I talk to my family a lot back home and my friends and we still communicate, although it's always in the late hours of the night or the early hours of the morning. It's honestly sometimes with my family, it's great to get a little bit of a break from them. So I'm not sure if I want 11 months break, but uh, every now and then it's good. So uh, I don't struggle with it too much. And the way that people from Lexington, particularly the coaching staff and all the players have embraced me, you know, they're my second family now. So that's great. They've taken me on board and I never, I've felt out of place and never felt uncomfortable since I've been here, so um, I enjoy every day.